сан бацхан хүнд үзэгчтэй өнөөдөр манай де факто нэг төлгийн зочноор шведийн алдартай профессор уу шиг зүрхний шилжүүлэн сулгадаг алдартай профессор ноён стиг стин орлч байна Good evening. Good evening, yeah. Very nice to be here in your wonderful uh, life science community mm -hmm. in center in uh, south of uh, Sweden. Mm -hmm. Please tell us why did you call this place called life? Why did you call it life science community? Yeah, the um, community is that in uh, in Sweden, uh, many people feel very very lonely. Uh -huh. They are um, staying. Um, many single households, and uh, and that causes a lot of depressions and uh, even uh, misuse of alcohol and drugs and the sleeplessness and so on. So the the best uh, treatment for that is not uh, medicines, but uh, to be included mm -hmm. in a loving community. Uh -huh. So th and that the reason I called it community. And it's uh, not only just a research place, but mostly. You, you look at the life, not only as a, from the doctor's point of view, as a treatment of the illness, but you see something more. And you wrote a wonderful book uh, in which you specified the new understanding of good life under the name persona. Mm -hmm. Why you have decided to write this book? Yeah, I, I have been active now as a doctor with the, the most sick persons uh, and uh, in over 40 years. And um, uh, always I have some patient, uh, often young patient with uh, diseases that we cannot treat. But still they are my patients and then I know I cannot uh, heal them and I know they cannot be healed and still we need to uh, to uh, be together mm -hmm. until the last moment and mm -hmm. uh, uh, when a person have this uh, limited limited space to live in mm -hmm. because the death is around the corner mm -hmm. then uh, you 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 came very deep to people mm -hmm. they they often open up their hearts and mm -hmm. tell you a lot of mm -hmm. things so you can really learn very much about what is uh, the deepest longings mm -hmm. for people mm -hmm. and then um, since that is such such an important part of my daily work to mm -hmm. try to lift up even these people mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, uh, it's uh, natural to write a book like that i, sh I should say mm -hmm. uh, do you have an estimation how many uh, surgery you made in your life uh, no but it must be over 10,000. 10,000. Mm. And uh, in some cases you have brought in the book, uh, you were saying about some patients who really, for a bit better treatment, they needed to really want to be alive. Mm. They, they want to live better. And there was a, a case uh, where a patient died, but the, in the lung there was a blood. And you said in the book that if really somebody don't want to leave, mm -hmm. then they have this blood in the lung. Mm -hmm. Doctor, why the patient who doesn't want to leave have blood clots in their lung? What is the dynamic? What's happening inside of that person? Uh, yeah, why that happened was that uh, uh, if, if you lose, if you don't want to live any longer mm. as a patient, mm. you go to bed mm. and you don't go out of the bed. Mm. Uh, or if you don't have physical therapists that mm -hmm. take you out all the time, mm. then you, uh, the blood clots and the, the blood clots leave the, the legs mm -hmm. and is stopped in the lung. Mm. And then you die of the, what we call pulmonary emboli. That mm. was the patient you described. Mm. She had been, uh, I think, if I don't remember wrong, an opera singer, mm -hmm. and she had been a star, mm -hmm. and she had probably ne neglected her children. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was the case, uh, yes. And, and she t told me after the operation that was successful because mm -hmm. all the cancer was away, that I, I have one wish now that the children will come and visit me, mm -hmm. and I called them, and that I, they, had all, they had excuses for not to come. Mm -hmm. 
and and they probably thought that but now our mother has been healed mm -hmm. uh, we can take her in proper time mm -hmm. but not not just now mm -hmm. and then she was so disappointed that mm -hmm. she was found dead and the autopsy showed that uh, she had got clot mm -hmm. in her legs mm -hmm. and uh, that had moved into the lung and uh, killed her very pretty yeah. very uh, for many people you have seen so many this sort of cases and mm. also very lot of success stories what uh, what was the most important thing for people to have a better life uh, not to be sick uh, you said in in the book that you it is the purpose in life mm. why is that more important than uh, any other things yeah i think that uh, we can all experience that if we we all wants to be liked and seen mm -hmm. and often then when we want that very strongly mm -hmm. to be successful and so on mm -hmm. we take too much place from other mm -hmm. and people <laughs> go away mm -hmm. but if you do the the opposite mm -hmm. if you really see in each person you meet a mm -hmm. sister or brother that you wants to lift mm -hmm. up and forget yourself mm -hmm then you'll be the most popular person on planet Earth uh, mm. pretty, pretty soon. Mm. And th that, that is an advice that is uh, uh, gratis, you could say. It's, it's not, uh, it does not cost money. Mm -hmm. And this is the truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel that uh, since the truth is mm. free, mm -hmm. uh, no money, mm -hmm. uh, it should be told. Mm. And the smartest thing you can do mm -hmm. to get this response, positive response, is really to treat everyone uh, you meet mm -hmm. very well as a brother and a sister. If you do that, you get this response back, mm -hmm. and that response you get back mm -hmm. has a great power of vitality in you. Mm -hmm. Well, it should be very special when you think that everybody you see, like as your own brother, ah. sister, ah. what does it, uh, what makes the people think? What, how to move to that shift of your mind? I think that uh, if you really use your brain, your thoughts, mm -hmm. you came to the conclusion that if I have a value, mm -hmm. you must have an equal value. Mm -hmm. So either we all have values mm -hmm. or, we, or we have no value at all. Mm -hmm. And it's much better to, to um, run for the first option that we, I have value mm -hmm. and then you have the same value. Everyone has the same value. Uh -huh. That's logical in uh -huh. a way. <laughs> yes, it is logical in a way. <laughs> you have been uh, creating a solution that uh, makes the transpla transportation of uh, lung for transplantation uh, has a longer life, longer yeah. time. Mm -hmm. w what was the reason behind that? Why was it so important? Yeah, so now uh, in, um, we have a um, disease in the Western world called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, mm -hmm. and that is the killer number four now, and it uh, will be number three soon. And uh, these persons that have that disease, they uh, cannot breathe, uh -huh. and they need to have a max with oxygen, uh -huh. and they can hardly not eat. They all almost like strangling slowly to death, uh -huh. and they are in despair. Uh -huh. So it's uh, very important to solve that problem so uh -huh. that will be enough mm -hmm. uh, lungs so they can get a new lung, mm -hmm. so they can not, not be, in, so to say, mm -hmm. yeah. dying like that. Uh, I, I see. So they that, that was a very enough. strong um, incitament for me to try to solve that uh -huh. problem. I see. And uh, how did you make it? Yeah. The, 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 uh, the, the great discovery uh, really was that uh, I discovered that uh, if we if we die, mm -hmm. the only thing that does not die so quickly in us is the lung. Oh, I see. So when you let us say you get cardiac arrest or you get a shot in your head or what knife in your heart and you oh. die, you can be left dead for at least oh. one hour, and then you can cool the lung and you can be left for twelve hours, and after that. I can take out the lung, do a test on the lung, uh -huh. and save the lung for a further 24 hours. And, and since many people die, uh, uh, and even if it die of normal okay. age, uh -huh. um, the lung is a low pressure system, so the lung can be over 100 years old. So 
with this new technique, no one should, should die alone in a bed with oxygen and then um, and strang strangulating mm -hmm. slowly to death. Mm -hmm. I think that that is the type of patient that suffer most, as mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a result of your solution mm. with your name, yeah. you can keep that lung longer until it goes to the, ne the recipient patient. Yeah, so yeah, yeah that, that, that's one thing, but the most important thing is that I can take out the lung and repair the lung outside the body, preserve mm. it, make it better, mm. and then preserve it and then transplant it. And mm. with these methods, uh, uh, there will be more good lungs than the, mm -hmm. there are patients that can take the lungs uh, mm -hmm. when it came into full. Uh, in, uh, in Europe or in North America, this, there is a certain kind of bank of lungs yeah. existing, yeah. right? How, does it, uh, how is it regulated? Is it uh, regulated? Yeah, uh, in the United States, uh, it, uh, it's regulated like that the patient on the waiting list. Uh -huh. They look at the time on the waiting list, uh -huh. and those who have been lo longest on the waiting list mm. will get, get it. Uh, here in Europe, it is rather that if a patient on the waiting list is almost dying, mm. and you have other patients on the waiting list mm. that are more stable, mm -hmm. we try to give it to, to the sickest, so, mm -hmm. so, so he or she will not mm -hmm. die on the waiting list. Wow. And you are doing the same thing with the heart now? Yeah, exactly. So we just published now uh, 24 hours um, um, keeping of the heart, and uh -huh. uh, uh, today we have only four hours. So I that see. will be a great um, revolution so in the world. You have been working in the Lund University yeah. for from from, from your, 1980. Yeah, from all your uh, uh -huh. career. Yeah, exactly. and also you have been uh, you are a doctor of three Chinese university also. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, you have and been. You see in the corridor here yes. uh, some of the PhD student that has uh -huh. been here. Over 30. And um, so you have been saving so many uh, lives, and not only, and you know, you're also teaching uh, new doctors, yeah. students, uh, uh, doctors all around the world, yeah. particularly from China, from here. Yeah, from uh, <coughs> also from Europe and United States, Australia. They came here and mm -hmm. participate in the courses mm -hmm. and go home. <coughs> Using Greek words. You have been talking about uh, three factors of life. It, it, it is uh, bios, psychs, and zo. Zo is consisting of certain things that makes you a complete, happy person. And you see this sort of people? Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, there is a many studies on people that get more than 100 years old. What's car what is characteristic for those mm -hmm. people? Mm -hmm. And that's always that they uh, have this... Uh, we call it peace, peace in mind, mm -hmm. uh, this generosity, mm -hmm. uh, and are loved wherever they came mm -hmm. because they love others. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. When was your zo happened to you? When you uh, kind of consciously comprehended this concept? Yeah, I was uh, in uh, the winter of 1980. Uh -huh. I had nothing of this. I was a rather cynical person. Uh -huh. I had um, planned to stop as a doctor, mm -hmm. lost all hope. And then I got an offer to go to Africa. Uh -huh. uh, Sair, it was called at that time, mm -hmm. uh, to try to see if I could uh, be, uh, build a, a little jungle hospital mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And when I came to this little place, Monga, it was mm -hmm. called, that was driven by um, um, uh, Belgian uh -huh. nuns and uh -huh. African nuns. Mm. And they worked seven days a week. And they was expert in tropical medicine. They radiated all these uh, factors in Zoa. And uh, when they got tired, they uh, disappeared into the chapel and they sang something mm. in Lingala, the language, in, mm. in different voices, very beautiful, 20 mm. minutes. And mm. after that, I followed. We all came out and was able to start to work again. And this happened seven times each day. Wow. So, uh, so they, and they lived 100% for others. And it, that was in the jungle. Nobody saw them. Huh. Uh, and one of the nuns there uh, had worked in the polyclinic for 35 years and she had chronic malaria mm -hmm. and she died 
uh, when I was there. And then the community gathered around her and sang this polyphonic, this, uh, because the Africans are fantastic uh, musicians, so to yeah. say. And I think they learn from small children to sing in different voices and okay. so on, and rhythm, drums, everything. It's, uh, 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 and they uh, sang her into the next life, so to say, you could call it. Uh -huh. And that the next life then is, that is so uh, that is uh -huh. the eternal life, the uh -huh. timeless life, uh, mm -hmm. so to say. They go out of the time, uh -huh. out of space and time into an eternal existence. That is a mystery, of course, but that's mm. called Zoe. Mm. So this spirit of oh, doing exactly. for somebody free came at that time to exactly, your mind. Exactly. And then I, I, I was uh, completely instantly transformed and then uh, came back. And then I, my, my blinded eyes had opened up because I could then start to look at other people mm -hmm. and discover in many, many people they are open for this. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some kind of invisible community mm -hmm. uh, started. Doctor, uh, you have been working in this field for many years. And what was the best day you had as a surgeon? Often, this seems to be a little strange, but uh, since I have so many of my patients die, and they die in my hands or in my presence, uh, before they die, there also is a community around this uh, person, uh, the working comrades, the, the father, mother, um, mm -hmm. sisters, uh, the, the nurses, doctors, we try to help these uh, persons, and then around this uh, bed of a sick person, often young person, nobody think about themselves. They are focused to wish the dying well, so to say. And this community, serious community around the, the dead that happen all the time, mm. that is uh, uh, much more um, blessed mm -hmm. than uh, Mm -hmm. than to look, look at some kind of entertainment pro program on television or something like that. Mm. Uh, then when, when you participate in that, you have a feeling that your life has a purpose and that you are dealing with some real thing, really real thing. But uh, yet not everybody understands until almost that moment. Yeah, how true. important, true. How, what is your mission in your life. Exactly, exactly, that's and true. You have seen many people yeah. in that way. Yeah. Really, how we can get the young people understanding that, uh, their mission earlier? What can yeah, we do? I, I think that um, even when you are young people, if you are real and young people are honest, mm. if they open their eyes and try to see people that does not do so well, and try to uh, be in their presence uh, mm -hmm. with some sympathetic thoughts about them mm -hmm. that's open up so they can experience mm -hmm. this uh, fantastic thing that you, you can uh, invest some of your times mm -hmm. for those who desperately mm -hmm. long for a young, beautiful person to mm -hmm. see them. Wow. Uh, many people don't understanding, as I just now said, they don't understand and they die. What kind of things you would like to see people understood earlier that never die like this? Yeah, I think that uh, that the, the only existence we have mm. is the present moment. Yesterday is gone, future is not yet there. 98% mm -hmm. of what we worry about yes. in the future never happens. Never happens. No. <laughs> so, the, and the only thing we have is ah. the present moment. And if I have a chance to lift you up a little, I will do it. Yes, <laughs> because that's you are doing only, already. <laughs> that's the only thing we can, we can do uh, in the present moment. Mm. And if you concentrate on the present moment, you, you will not be so tired. Because if you think, oh, shall I be such a good person the next 10 years, you'll be tired immediately mm. but if you just jump into it and do it mm -hmm. then you get this energy back mm -hmm. and you feel that now now I am drained now I must retire for a while sleep for a okay. while because you must have some common sense you cannot all the time uh, 
sacrifice yourself for others. Mm. You must never think that you are a god or something like mm. that. You are a weak human person, but, but the energy came ah. from this uh, loving community. Uh -huh. And speaking about energy, uh, the, to have uh, the best energy I can have now, mm. it also depends on my food, on yeah. my yeah. component, uh, whatever yeah. I take it. Yeah. Doctor, how important is food? Nature balance, you said. Why that important? Why the food is that important? Yeah, uh, you should remember that uh, for every 24 hours I or you live, mm. in your body you build billions of new cells uh -huh. all the time. Mm. And uh, these cells are very complicated houses, you could say. Uh -huh. And think that if I gave you a uh, um, a work now that I want you to build one billion new houses mm. in Mongolia, for mm -hmm. instance, mm. then you must think about uh, the right number of the, the, the floors, mm -hmm. the doors, yes, the everything. windows, uh -huh. everything. But we, we must eat all these different things every day, uh -huh. otherwise some of the houses will be defect and we get diseases quite unnecessary. So it's extremely important that we feed the body co with complete uh, uh, nutrition every uh -huh. day. Mm -hmm. And you have been creating a new product yeah. called the Natural Balance. Yeah. Yeah. Please tell us about that. Yeah. Why is that so vital? Yeah, uh, the, the most important thing in the, in the food to, to keep the health mm -hmm. is the protein. Mm -hmm. Protein that is, uh, if you dry up a cell, 70% of the dry weight is protein. Mm -hmm. Protein means the first. Uh, mm. So when the microscope came, they mm. saw it was something mm. in the cell that dominated completely. Okay. That was protein. Uh -huh. And without that, and that protein is the most expensive food. Uh -huh. And um, if, if that is deficient, you uh -huh. get sick. Okay. And this natural balance shake have a complete protein. Uh, the, this protein is put together. Uh -huh. So when you analyze it, it is similar to human mother's milk. Uh -huh. And that is the best because we know that when we are uh, born as small babies, mm -hmm. we can suck all the lives from the mother mm -hmm. at least six months or, or more. Mm -hmm. And the whole body develops, so to say. Yes. So uh, the human mother's m milk have the most harmonic protein. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, you have a lot of fat also in the human uh -huh. mother's milk because you need so ma many calories mm -hmm. when you shall mm -hmm. grow. But that, that, that is the main idea of this mm -hmm. natural balance shake to mm -hmm. have a, a little of the balance that is in the human mother's milk in, 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 in that drink, so to say. Um, in many countries now, the obesity oh. is a big problem. Oh. Uh, and when the people fight with obesity, they mm. say many, or oh, let's have a, less eating, or they try to skip the food. Mm. What would be your advice for people who is fighting with their obesity? The uh, number one is to eat complete nutrition every day. Mm -hmm. uh, to is eat a balanced nutrition every day because if something is missing uh -huh. because you stop to eat food, uh -huh. you will behave like a pregnant woman. Uh -huh. you, she will probably start to eat even this microphone uh -huh. <laughs> because it's too little iron in her body. So when you try to skip food, you you turn yourself into some kind of pregnant woman who uh -huh. wants to eat all the time. Uh -huh. And then it's just a matter of uh, time before you start to eat what, what came into your closeness. Okay, w when you take, take it the right nutrition in the right balance, yeah. nutrients in yeah. the right balance. Yeah. Now there are things also you're saying that you should omit it, you should not do it. What kind of things one should not do it to have a better and a happy life? Yeah, you, we know from uh, those who get very old that there are risk factors for mm -hmm. shortening your life. Mm. And uh, if you smoke, that's mm -hmm. a very uh, powerful risk factor mm -hmm. to shorten your life. Mm -hmm. If you drink, if a man drink more than 20 gram alcohol each day and mm -hmm. a female more than 10 gram alcohol per day, mm -hmm. that is more or less one glass of wine or two glass of wine, mm -hmm. uh, the body starts to uh, be injured. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the main causes of to shorten life in Sweden. We have 1.3 million Swedes that uh, uh, misuse alcohol and 400,000 are dependent on alcohol. Mm -hmm. This is a major cause for uh, 
you see is that alcohol calm you down mm -hmm. so still it is the mind first but to calm down your mind mm. you start to drink alcohol in instead of befriending your surrounding mm. <laughs> you could say mm. Mm. yeah um, so alcohol um, here in Sweden, if you if you have too much sun here in Sweden mm -hmm. without sun protecting, you get melanoma, and mm. uh, this is a common reason for this now. Mm. If you have uh, look at too much internet, uh, mm. uh, try to to um, uh, see everything on internet, mm. you overload your brain and get uh, a little confused mm. and a bad uh, a night sleep mm. etc mm. it's so very bad uh, mm. provoke uh, depression mm -hmm. suicide and other thing and uh, hopelessness uh, mm. without purpose and so on mm. and that that is a new thing that has overwhelmed us the last 30 years this internet and and surfing on the internet mm -hmm. and if you don't move, if you don't move at all, mm -hmm. that's very bad for your body also. Mm -hmm. You need to so move. So you do exercise. Yeah, exactly. At least twenty, uh, at least thirty minutes uh, brisk walking every day or something like mm. that. Uh, mm. You must have. Which you do? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how often do you do exercise? Yeah, I s I start each morning in a in a bicycle, mm -hmm. uh, where, where I can at the same time read, mm -hmm. and because my time is. Um, short mm -hmm. so I need to do something when I mm -hmm. exercise when mm -hmm. I sit on uh, on my bicycle with an electrical table I have a whole library before myself so I can uh -huh. uh, get one hour of um, of exercise wow and after about 20 minutes this endorphins came so you get very so when one hour is gone you are a little um, irritated that the time has gone so fast okay <laughs> how how uh, <laughs> How long do you sleep at, at night? Well, uh, between, um, so that's important, uh, seven and a half hours, seven, five cycles. Uh -huh. So I p make very high priority now of, of the sleep, uh -huh. because when we sleep and go down in deep sleep, uh -huh. th this adrenal, g g uh, this uh, hypophysis uh -huh. here, release growth hormone, uh -huh. and, and this growth hormone is needed for the repair of the body, when we sleep, it's uh, extremely important uh, uh, to, to get that sleep and make a high priority of, of, of your sleep. When, uh, when, when I was in, the, in the, this um, uh, working uh, every fifth night, I uh -huh. don't need to do that now any longer, uh -huh. then I was in constant uh, sleep deprivation uh -huh. and uh, did not do so well, but uh -huh. uh, after I got the professor, I, I, I did not need, I do not need to do a routine operation at night so uh -huh. any longer, and then, uh, then I could sleep, and mm -hmm. that is extremely important for the health. Well, uh, still, do you make a surgery now? Yeah. Mm. How often? Yeah, so now we develop a new technique in the laboratory uh -huh. animal here, so uh, every week we do heart or lung transplantation and so on with the new, new new technique and the courses and so on. What, what was the longest surgery you had ever performed? How long it took at um, time? I think it was one patient, 18 hours. One, eight hours? 18. Wow, where? Uh, it was uh, two new lungs and after that I had uh, uh, no circulation in the leg, so I had uh -huh. to reconstruct, uh, reconstruct the circulation in the leg and and, um, and the, the patient uh, uh, ha had a terrible bleeding, uh -huh. so it was difficult to get the, the sick lungs out, get the new sick lungs in. I had to take the lungs from a big fireman, and this was a small woman, so when the lung came in, that was too big, so I had to operate out half the lung again and so on, but, uh, but this was for... Uh, 14 years ago now, okay. and the, 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 the patient is still doing well. Congratulations. Mm. You made so many people yeah. happy in your yeah. life. And you should be a happy man. Are you happy? Oh, yes, very happy. Uh, or, or blessed. Blessed. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for yeah. this uh, mm. fantastic interview. And I wish many people have this uh, blessed life. <gasps> and I you do. As well. I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.